Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys the new Chanel Le Beige 2022 collection. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina. I do product reviews on luxury beauty, skincare, and makeup. Occasionally, I will do a luxury accessory review or a vlog here and there. So it's been a while, you guys, and I'm not gonna lie, there's been a few changes with my work and also I was very caught up and involved with the national elections in the Philippines. So. My mind was really consumed with that for the past couple of weeks. So I, my mind was totally not even in beauty for quite a while, but I apologize, but I think this is the perfect set of products or collection to bring me back into the game. And I was very excited when I saw these products in a preview. So this is the Chanel Le Beige collection and usually this collection comes out around April or May every year. It's it's not their main summer collection, but it's kind of like a mid-season collection if that's even what you can call it. It's it's Le Beige is the Chanel line that is all about a natural glow. So even with complexion products, it's more their foundations are more geared towards a natural look or a natural finish or a light makeup look and of course they have the Le Beige collection that comes out every time around this time of the year and those are focused on their Soleil Tan de Chanel or their Glow Complexion products or bronzers and I have them on my face right now as you can see I feel I feel very 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 summery with the look and I think it captures summer with this product so i'm gonna begin with the products and i did not buy the eye makeup was not interested i already have too much of those things but i bought the three complexion products and i think this is like core for what this collection has so the three products i'll be sharing with you guys are First and foremost, of course, Le Beige Soleil Tan in 392, which is medium bronze. And then I have these two new products. This is the Oversized Healthy Glow Sun Kissed Powder. And I got the shade Sun Kiss Medium. And the Oversized Kabuki Brush, which is new as well, a new launch. So I am going to quickly share with you guys my try on with this products and then i will be back to discuss in more detail the products and my thoughts on them so we're going to begin with a soleil tan de chanel the cream bronzer this one is in medium and i'm just using a sephora brush i believe the brush is the pro 59 as you can see i was scared to touch the pan it was so immaculately gorgeous to begin with you see that beautiful swirl when you first open it so right when you apply it you immediately see a difference in your complexion it really really just looks healthier and quite literally has a glow and like you've been out in the sun so you can see the difference of my right side and the left side where it does not have it. I really like this look because it lends itself to a very natural, healthy look versus a very sharp, contoured, chiseled look, which was never really something that appealing to me, unless it was necessary for a certain look. But for just an ideal look for me, I love using this cream bronzer. It just puts warmth back to the skin. So now this is the oversized Kabuki brush that was launched for this collection. And you guys can see how really large it is. Look at my reaction. This is the first time I actually played with it. You can see relative to my face. 
It really goes well with an oversized Healthy Glow powder, obviously. This brush is more dense than I expected. I was actually quite afraid at how much product it would pick up because it felt so dense. But here you can see I'm applying it to one side of my face and immediately, you guys, you can see the difference in the texture and the glow of my skin. So I, I thought it really wouldn't do much after using the cream bronzer, but you see a significant difference in the way it looks. The powder texture just makes it look more warm. It actually looks more suntan, if you may, like literal time in the sun I got. That's why my skin is looking that healthy or that bronze. I wouldn't even say bronze really, but it just looks like sun-kissed and that is exactly what the powder is called it's called sun-kissed in medium and there is no better name for this product okay so the initial product that i really was very excited to get and to try was the oversized healthy grow healthy glow powder i i don't have a a bronzing powder yet from Chanel. I've always had the Soleil Tan though, the cream bronzer. So, and also the fact that this is absolutely, look how large this is, you guys, compared to my face. And I think this can be, well, it'll last you a lifetime. But obviously, you can apply this not just to the face, you guys. You can apply it to your decollete, on your arms. And yeah, this is such a beautiful product. This retails for 100 Canadian which is a little steep. Um, I've already played with this, obviously. I've used it a couple of times, but this is how the pattern looks. And it has the signature Chanel scent that you find in some of their complexion products. It's, it smells like a flower or like a rose, but it's not overpowering, but it's very particular to Chanel. It's a very different smell from a Guerlain terracotta bronzer kind of smell. This smells more like a summer floral. Um, so the shade that I got is in Sunkiss Medium. And I don't want to swatch it because I don't want to ruin the pattern, but I'm going to have to. So this is how it looks. I'm going to attempt to swatch it in the back of my hand. I find it really beautiful, you guys. I think this is still a neutral. It doesn't pull too orangey or too brown, but it's a little deeper than the original Soleil Tan de Chanel, the universal one. So that's the first product. And then the second one, and this one I was very excited about, this is the oversized kabuki brush this is absolutely oversized you guys this retails for 72 canadian and i will put all the links below you guys feel free to shop my links you guys i would deeply appreciate it it just helps me support my work and all that i put in this channel and the products that you know i i purchase to share and review with you guys so it has a beautiful chanel it, it's made very well it feels very hefty and it is absolutely oversized this is a little bit more dense than usual but i think it would be good for any powder product and i think this would be good in the body as well and i think not just even powder even bron cream bronzers or cream like shimmers or glow products you can definitely use this i think the beautiful part about this brush is it really can be face and body i think even more so body and it's hard to find a good brush that's Good for the body as well and then of course it comes in this amazing pouch velvet pouch which i'm not really big on extra packaging anymore but for this particular brush because it has no cover it's not like um one of those kabuki travel brushes this is perfect because then you can secure it you can bring it anywhere with you for touch-ups and when you travel then it's clean and i am all for this velvet pouch Last but not the least is, of course, the Soleil Tan de Chanel in 392 Medium Bronze. I obviously always, always have had the Universal, Universal Bronzer. Um, I can do a comparative review, but maybe not for this video because it's going to be too long. This is the Medium one. And in fact, you guys, I think I still have a backup of the Universal that I haven't touched. 
I know it's super bad I actually was actually I didn't have this reserved for me but last minute I saw an application of it someone applying it and I was like I'm just gonna get it and yes I do feel guilty because I haven't even opened the other one but they always sell out super fast so same smell as the other as the original universe uh, Soleil Tan but I think a little less it, it smells like it's a little less it is the same kind of formula it's a bit more creamy I would say so that's how it looks and I don't want to get that much you guys but that's it is absolutely identical and when you guys saw me in the try on you saw the difference in the finish of just the cream bronze and then the oversized healthy glow powder so just from the try on and this is when I tried it on you guys that was honestly the first time I tried both of them together together and the first time I tried the Soleil Tan in medium so it was a really really first impressions I could see how it looks on the camera and I can see how it looks on my skin so right off the bat I'm gonna immediately say these are holy grail bronzing products the Soleil Tan definitely already has always been. I think this is the the ultimate cream bronzer ultimate in any market. Luxury, not luxury. If you could just have one cream bronzer, it would be this. Now the mediums. For my medium, I'm I'm an NC30 and MAC. For a Dior, I'm usually a 2N or a 2W. So this works really well with my skin. Now... Yeah, that's a no-brainer. It's a 10 out of 10. You definitely have to have that. And if you haven't tried it, I highly, highly recommend it. And then, so I guess some people are thinking, well, why do you need a cream and a powder? And honestly, I felt the same. That's why I wasn't going to go for the medium. But I think the color was would have, was going to be perfect for me. And no doubt it is. But the, it is a different look and a different finish altogether. And it has the Soleil Tan has a bit more of that very natural beach look. Like if you're if you're going on holiday and you know, tropics or something, or you're just not you're not even just gonna be by the water or by the beach all the time or immense sun, you could just do with a cream bronzer. I think it gives a more natural, glowy look. But this one, I don't know. It's so hard because it still looks amazing. But this one really looks like I got an immediate tan. Immediate. And it's just a very, it kind of is like a, a blurring powder as well. It just looks, when I layered it after the Soleil Tan de Chanel, the cream bronzer, my skin looked so refined and more perfected. It's not even polished because it still looks like summer, but it looks like, I really have a suntan like I came from Saint-Tropez or Mexico or how well yeah it, it, it just looks like that in the most natural way and I think the best way I can describe this is that it's how it's described it's a healthy glow sun-kissed powder that is exactly what this product will give you if you're not going on vacation or holiday this is holiday in a powder form this is going to give you that look this is going to give you that look that you've just come from holidays and it's very different from the finish of the cream bronzer this one is very a lot more natural but this one looks like this the tan has already set in like you're i can't describe it it just looks it actually looks so good this powder looks so good and I didn't think they could like I'm thinking in my head why would you need both why would you create an oversized powder to like compete with this totally different they're both amazing of course I highly recommend both they're, they have different functions and purposes and I think for a more refined look like let's say you have an event or a destination wedding for the summer you need this you can wear this you can brush this on your decollete or, or you know anywhere else in your body and it's gonna look amazing the brush amazing as well great quality it's very large so you can definitely use it beyond the face you can use it in your body and i think it works very well very 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 well with this oversized glow 
powder so that is my share for today you guys that is chanel le beige so 2022 which is to me summer in a few products i haven't gone on holiday i haven't left vancouver or canada for almost two years and this makes me look like i just did so i hope that was interesting and informative for you guys if you haven't tried the soleil tan de chanel you need to try this product i know that they're not exactly very price friendly but if i recommend anything in this price it's because they're well worth it you're really gonna get the bang for your buck because of the quality because of how long it lasts you i think one of my first ones lasted me five years you guys my first soleil tan de chanel and i hit I hit the bottom of the of the pan and it, it's it never changed it didn't harden it didn't get crusty it didn't change the way it looked on my skin even if I had it for all those years and can you just imagine how much longer the powder will last but you know given the try on that you guys have seen I don't think I need to say a lot more it really really lives out lives up to its holy grail status for the cream bronzer and i think chanel has just created another holy grail product so it's just launched it's going to be limited so i highly recommend you can click the links down below and i hope you guys get your hands in them so again you guys i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and mentally healthy wherever you are and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.